one-time trial demonstrates that heart failure patients have significant survival benefits when their resynchronization devices are fitted with telemonitoring technology. This prospective controlled multicenter trial involved 664 resynchronized patients with class 2 and 3 heart failure randomized to either telemonitoring or standard care. After one year of follow-up, uh, we saw a significant difference between standard care and home monitoring supported patients with respect to the PECA score. We can learn from the in-time trial that uh, automatic advanced home monitoring is beneficial for patients with heart failure. You need a very, very consistent chain of information from the patient automatically to the physician and then a reaction chain that brings back improved medical care to the patient. Mr. Chairman, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm very pleased and honored to present here for the first time. We have uh, presented uh, the Realign study, which was a study looking at the, a new dosing regime of dabigatran in patients uh, with a mechanical Heart valve. In this phase two study, patients with a mechanical heart valve were randomly assigned to receive either dabigatran or warfarin. The trial was terminated prematurely after the enrollment of 252 patients because of an excess of thromboembolic and bleeding events among patients in the dabigatran group. The message from this small study, although very small and, and prematurely terminated, is very clear. You should not prescribe uh, these agents to patients with uh, a mechanical valve. The two major novelties in these guidelines are firstly a completely different way uh, to consider the diagnosis in terms of diagnostic strategies, but also in terms of entities, because now we distinguish with some new entities of uh, a stable CAD, including the patient without stenotic lesion or with spasm, for instance, and also for the treatment strategies have been simplified with only two lines of treatments, first line treatments being the beta blockers and calcium channel blockers, and second line treatment being other anti-ischemic drugs, and in addition you will have the drugs for even prevention like aspirin, statins, and uh, uh, ACE inhibitors in some subgroups of patients. It became evident that ejection fraction is not enough to monitor anti-cancer treatment and other strategies should be used. So a speckle tracking assessment of global longitudinal strain uh, can be one of these approaches for early detection of systolic dysfunction. The main advantages of deformation imaging in anti-cancer therapy is that we can detect a very early reduction of systolic function. So we should make this study on the baseline before start of chemotherapy and then quite often during follow-up. Be sure not to miss Best of ESC 2013 on Thursday, September 12th.